How you doing, Nikki? Um, good. I just... I know this doesn't make sense. Any leads? Leads we have been dead. So you, uh... Are you coming out tonight? I don't know, Rob. It's not really making... I'm going out for your boss's birthday. Going to a pub. Okay. Well, if you uh, change your mind, you know, I'd love to see you there. Uh, outside the office, please. I'll try. But if not, I'll see you tomorrow. 5 a.m. See you then. Straighten up. You've got the posture of a snake, mate. You! Look, honestly, I can't even believe it's your, your 50th birthday. You look no older than 40, I'd say. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I just want to give you a bit of a cheers. Bear with me. You made it. Yeah, thought I should make an appearance. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry? <laughs> How is it? It's it's good. I think he's actually enjoying himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. I mean, like, you know, if you didn't know me, what would you say with three words? What would you use to describe me? Assertive. Driven. Yeah. Sexy. Be serious. I am serious. You're as sexy as hell. You don't say it. You're too busy being all over tough cop and no one messes with me. <laughs> right, so you think I'm unapproachable? You can be. Well, I guess that's what you get when you have your father draining you to take after you. 
It's not a bad thing. You know what you want. You go out and get it. What do you want? Well, um, this is me. Thanks for walking me home. It's okay. Good night. Right. See you in the morning. See you. Good night. Uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you. You're accountable for every bullet that you fire, okay? You're responsible for every round that comes out of that chamber. You've got to know where it's going before you fire it. Put some intent behind each bullet. Jerry, what are you doing? What? It's not loaded. I was just showing you how to hold it. It's not a toy, Nikita, go inside. Hey, what are you doing? Um, it's you, and me, and mum, and even a baby, and our puppy we can get. Honey, hmm? mum's not coming home. What? But you said you'd find her. I know, I'm sorry, it's just, she's been missing now for four months and we... I get it. it. Just doesn't make sense. Maybe she's like just on a long holiday to Hawaii. Maybe she's. Maybe Mum's in heaven. Dad, no! Don't say that. You can't give up. Mum is alive, and, and you can find her. Nikki, I'll help you. Conquer Squad, Nikki. and we can all grow together. Also, I think we should put up posters all around town. Nikki, Nikki, stop. Okay. We can't put up posters. Your mum's case is under private investigation. Honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> so how are you feeling this morning? <sighs> Pretty foggy. I shouldn't have gone out. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're allowed to have a life too, you know. Today's too important. Mm. Dad, had anything? You think so? Come and have a look at this. See here? On December the 28th, this gang were arrested for armed robbery in St Kilda. And in January, it's alleged the same gang were abducting women in that area. It's around the same time that your mum went missing. Dad. I know this is a lot for a little girl to take in, but as the daughter of a cop, and someone who wants to grow up and be in the police force, I'm not going to hide these things from you. This is a reality. These things are happening. And it's scary, and it's a reality. And you've always been very mature for your age. I can handle it, Dad. Just find her. Okay. So why is this so important to you? Just is. It's important. I mean, she's someone's wife, someone's mother. It's important, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know it's important. You just seem a little... A little what? A little obsessed, okay? Thanks, Rob. I'm just committed to my job. Nikki, I didn't mean to... No, it's fine. It's going.
Come on. Let's be patient. He knows we're coming. Peter Ellis? My name is Detective Harker. This is Senior Sergeant Stark. We believe you have information on the whereabouts of Catherine O'Donnell. Yeah, I knew it. But I don't have any information that can help you guys out. Mr. Ellis, we need you to know that it is a chargeable offence to withhold information from a police officer. Cops, with your threats. Nice one. I told you, I don't have anything that can help you guys out. So if you two don't mind escorting yourselves out of here, so I'll take you. It's okay, sir. We believe you. If you believe there's no information you can give us, then that's fine. We'll go. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hmm. We will be back if there's any more questions. Yeah. Wonderful. What happened to you in there? You weren't handling it. Yes, I was. Just like every other time. Rob, he was getting aggressive and you couldn't even see that. Listen, Nikki, I know about your father. Okay, now if that's affecting your judgement or your, your decision making in any way... Rob, stop talking. You actually have no idea. Dad, I found something. This article, it's right from my mum and it's... Nikita, Nikita. God, stop. It Nikita. could change everything! Nikita, the stop day. talking! But I seriously think that this could be something! I've done everything I can. It's been six years. Just stop. You're just gonna give up? Morning. Morning. Just checking in with someone for 9am today? Yep. Rob. Yeah. Sorry about yesterday. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah, really, it's fine. You ever reacted? You're fine. responsible for every round that you shoot. You're accountable for every single bullet that exits that chamber. I know. You have to know where it's going before you fire it. Got it. Put an intention behind the bullet. Give it an intention. Use your instinct. Nikki, but he calls me Nikki. 
Oh, very cute. Come on, Nikki. I can't. You want this, don't you? Yes. Come on then, push through. I have to stop. Don't stop. stop. Come on, Nikki. Do you need it or what? Yes. Well, then do it. Come on. I don't want to do it anymore. I'll just let it take a break. What? A break? You're kidding me, are you? Just go home then. We'll finish off our run. Rob, this report just came in about Peter Alice. That man we questioned on the 26th. He was seen loitering around Catherine O'Donnell's house. Yeah, I think he knows more than he let on. You right to go back there after last time? I'm fine. Let's go. What are you doing playing? Nikita? You're in school now. You can't be mucking around with rubbish and crayons. Get your schoolwork out. Peter, a report has just come in that states you were seen loitering around the front of Catherine O'Donnell's house. Now, the report's actually come in from John O'Donnell. Can you explain why you were there? I wasn't there. You weren't at John O'Donnell's house at 7pm on the 16th of March? No, I wasn't. Okay, where were you then? I was at work. So you weren't at John O'Donnell's house at 7pm on the 16th of March? No, I wasn't. I'm tending to believe him, Mr. Oh, of course you're intending to believe him. Because you have got it in for me just as much as he does. Why would he hey, have it in for you, Bear? Why do you think he's got it in for me? I don't know, you tell me. Because John wants me in trouble, that's why. Why would he want you in trouble? Because everyone wants me in trouble, don't they? What are you doing? I was just looking. What? Looking for clues? Don't you think I've been through all this stuff a million times, Nikki? We don't need to keep your mum's stuff. It's time to get rid of all this stuff. Come and help me throw it out. It's time we got rid of this anyway. I don't need this anymore. We've been holding on to it way too long. Come and help me. It's time for it to go. Let's throw all this out now. Hold on for this way too long. Nikki, are you going to help? Grab a bag. Start putting stuff in. Put in the bag. Nikita! Throw all this stuff out. Peter, we believe you. If you believe there's no information you can give us, then that's fine. I have told you there's no information okay. I can give you. Okay, we'll go. Thank you for your time. Get out.
spot. I was just wondering what you are, uh, what are you doing tonight? I'll be researching the abdominal case. Why? Just wanted to see if you uh, wanted to research it together. Yeah, come over to my place, have a few drinks, do some research. Easy. Okay, great. Time. You say seven o'clock? I can even do some dinner if, if you want. I can cook a mean pasta. <laughs> Hey Dad. Hey Dad. Um, can you help me with my homework? I have like three questions left. Come on, Nikita. It's my one night off. I'm just trying to relax and enjoy it. Uh, okay. All right. Can you pause that, Scar? Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Which is the question you don't understand. Why is it that you don't understand this? I just don't get it. Have you not been paying attention in class? Of course I've been paying attention. The teacher just doesn't know how to explain that. Nah, nah, that's not a good enough excuse. You know, you can always ask for help if you need it. I just can't do it. Nikita, don't you ever say that. Put in the hard work. Okay? You want a drink? No, thank you. You're just distracting me from what I'm supposed to be doing. Have you found anything yet? No. You? Yeah, just um, just just this. What's that? It's an article from. She's just a little girl, Jerry. It wasn't loaded. There's no harm in it. I don't want her to even know the guns exist, let alone how to hold one. Reality check, Sue. It's a big bad world out there. Rather teach her now that so she's safe. What? So she can take after you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I do not want her learning how to use a gun. She's eight years of age. You are teaching a daughter, my, our daughter, a little girl, to play with a gun. What did you do that for? What do you feel, Nikita? What do you feel? I don't know. I mean, what do you mean? We were just supposed to be researching and, and now... You can never take that back. Why would we want to? I don't know, because it'll wreck everything at work. Okay, just please, just relax, okay? Come and have a drink with me. Because we go out for dinner for one night and you've still got your bloody phone on the whole time. How else am I supposed to do my job? It's your why can't you just have one hour? That's all I'm asking is for have, us to have a nice romantic dinner. People, what? People need me, okay? I'm I need fight. you! Everyone needs me. Don't you know what that does to me? This is our office. This is my... This is your car. This is the mortgage. This is everything that's in this house. This is the whole bloody lot. And just you... just want to have one night. One night where we can go for dinner. Yeah, I know, we right? We are your family. Oh. And what has happened to our family? What is happening to you? What is happening to us? I just wish for once it could be just about the family and not your bloody job all the time. Wish, wish, wish. What's that going to do for you? We're not family. I'm sick of you making everything about work and your bloody office. You never leave your phone off for a second. I just want one night. I can't make you happy. No, no, that's your happy. What about the knife?
Oh my phone. This is good stuff. Oh my phone. It's good. So you're a bit relaxing. <laughs> yeah. So I guess um you probably have to go. Um you gotta go early start in the morning, so feel free to go anytime you want. <laughs> Thanks for um swinging by my house. It's okay. I didn't expect to stay over. It's all good. Did you expect me to stay over? No. Mm -hmm. You don't trust me, do you? What do you mean? Wanna get a coffee? Do we have time? It's like 10 past 5, we've got plenty of time. Why are you so, uh... So what? Are you okay? Yeah, with, with what happened last night? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how I feel. Yeah, I... You gotta talk to me. What are you doing, Rob? Get out. We've got like an hour before we have to be at work, so you're going to talk to me. Oh, am I? Yeah. Nikita, look, I've known you long enough to know that something's up. Okay, I know your behaviour pattern. I also know that you don't have that many close friends. So come on, talk to me. What am I supposed to talk to you about? How about I ask you a few questions and just be totally honest with me? Okay. okay. Just got off the phone to your teacher. Seriously, it's absolutely embarrassing. What are you doing at school? I study the same amount as everyone else. Are you really? Are you really studying? Are you even trying? Of course I'm trying. Why can't you give me a break? Why are you so hard on me? I'm doing it for you. Yeah. Yeah, he's asleep. Do you want to do this or not? Okay. Alright. I'll see you outside. Alright. Bye. Alright. So what was your first love like? He was a babe. A wild one. He was my escape. Escape? From my dad. He was just really strict, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Question number two. Uh, have you ever had your heart broken? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It, yeah, I, I was there. I saw it. Bye. Where's the hospital, right? Damn. It's my fault. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I was the one who rang him last night. He wouldn't have gone out. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Okay? You're just kids. 
I mean, he died. I gang beat him up. That was it. I mean, he kind of started it. I just... I ran. <laughs> and I ran right into my daddy's arms. That's why you became a cop? Yeah. That and the dad, I guess. So, questions? It's off to Everything's gone. Mom's gone. Dad's gone. Hey, what are you doing? Why didn't you stop them? Stop them from what? Leaving. I couldn't. Hey. I know you think it's your fault, but it's not. They fought because of me. They left because of me. And now, it's all my fault. No, it's not. I wasn't good enough. What's supposed to mean? I don't want her playing with guns. We're not playing. I wasn't good enough. It's all my fault. I wasn't good enough. It's all my fault. Stop. You don't have to believe that. Parents fight sometimes because they're unhappy with their own lives. It has nothing to do with you. It's not your fault, okay? It wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. It's not my fault. It wasn't good enough. It's my fault. Nikki, stop. Look at me. You are wanted. And you are loved. Adults just need alone time sometimes. Dad will tuck you in later. And he'll see you drawing then. It's really good. What are you doing playing? What are you doing playing? You're in school now. You need to be concentrating on that, not this rubbish and crayons. Get your schoolwork out. I wasn't good enough. It's all my fault. I wasn't good enough. I wasn't good enough. It's all my fault. I wasn't good enough. It wasn't my fault. You are. I've forgotten how to play. Can you teach me?
something fun today. <laughs>